Last night, the facts of the case seemed clear. Police say at least three men entered the Simpkins Wholesale Confectionery Company in the 1700 block of Church Street as it was closing at about 7.30. They herded the 18 people inside the store behind the counter and forced the owner, 62-year-old Joseph Simpkins, into the back room. Simpkins says he was hit on the head by one suspect after he refused to turn over any money. The robbers took some cash and started to leave, but Simpkins fired a shotgun blast from the back room through a one-way mirror window. The victim, Daniel Parker, had entered the store after the robbery started and was standing at the counter. At first, police thought he had been hit by a shotgun pellet fired by Simpkins, but an autopsy this morning proved otherwise. Based on the preliminary investigation, we felt that the victim had been shot by a pellet from the shotgun fired by Mr. Simpkins. However, an autopsy this morning revealed that the victim had been shot by a small caliber handgun. The fact that it was a, not a shotgun pellet, that it was a pistol, uh, does that eliminate Mr. Simpkins as the, the person who fired the fatal shot? Apparently so, it does. Witnesses say two of the robbery suspects were carrying pistols, but no one saw Parker get hit, so police are not sure who fired that fatal shot. No one else was hurt. Authorities are still looking for the three suspects. Sandra Kelly, Area 10 Eyewitness News.